and in this circumstance um, with national monuments, because we've given uh, some 110 years ago, quite inadvisedly in my opinion, we've given presidents sweeping authority over this area. This eliminates, uh, uh, as, as they might see it in the moment, the need for bipartisan action. And yet I think in order to avoid the ricochet effect that we're talking about, that we both agree is a bad thing, we need to make sure that there is widespread local buy-in. Now, we didn't have that with Bears Ears uh, in 2016. We didn't have that with Grand Staircase uh, 20 years earlier. And I, I think it's important to point out here, and I want to make sure you're aware, that of the 11.5 million acres uh, of national monument designations uh, occurring on land uh, uh, among 40 states over the last 25 years, 3.25 million of those are in Utah. Uh, that's that's 28 uh, percent. Some of these monuments are quite large, and in Utah, the, the Grand Staircase and the Bears Ears National Monuments were originally 1.9 million acres and 1.3 million acres. Uh, added together, that, that's larger than two Delawares. Now, do you think monuments of this size accurately reflect and embody the the charge that Congress provided in the Antiquities Act to the effect that, quote, the limits of the parcels shall be confined to the smallest area compatible with the proper care and management of the objects to be protected. Is that usually something that in one state will be larger than two Delawares? Senator, I, I want to say um, I'm I'm a little jealous that you're from Utah <laughs> and I'm from New Mexico because I know you have so much beautiful land there and a lot of history. I've been to Bears Ears and, and the Pueblo Indians ancestral homeland is there and I realize it covers a, a very wide space. I, I appreciate I you am, paying the compliment to my state. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. But the monument designation doesn't make them more beautiful. It does tend to make the communities that don't support them impoverished and that's what concerns me. Sir.